Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Finky, your guide in learning TLE Electronics. Tara! Let's explore! <music> Hi students, welcome to another learning episode about electronics and we are still having resistors as our topic. In this lesson, you will be able to learn how to compute resistance value, identify the color combination of a given resistance value, calculate the tolerance value and limits, and lastly, conduct a simple conversion. Sa, la sa lesson na ito, may apply din natin ang mga general rules na natalakay ko sa naunang episode. And I hope you have done your assignment which is to master the color coding chart as this will help you in your in computing the resistance. Are you excited to learn? If yes, let's go. Okay. So I hope you have memorized this one and master it as well. Okay? So diretso na tayo sa pagcompute ng resistance value. Here's the step. The first one, compare the ends of the resistor. Identify which band is the first and fourth. And the last and fourth band of a resistor has either a color of gold and silver as, it, as the tolerance. Okay? So, ayan. That will be the last band. And from then, Madali na lang natin ma-identify kung sino ang first, second, and the multiplier. Next, identify the color of each band of the given resistor. Using the example, you have to identify the color for the first, the second, for the third, or the multiplier. And we all know the color for the tolerance. So, so the first color is brown. The second color is is black the third color is orange and lastly gold as the tolerance or the fourth color next one determine the equivalent value of each color in every band of the resistor matapos natin ma-identify ang, ang iba't ibang kulay makikita sa resistor ngayon bibigyan na natin ng value ang bawat kulay first digit brown According to the color coding chart, it has a value of 1, while black as a second digit or second color has a value of 0. Multiplier, which is the orange, has a value of 1000. Now, if you have remember, orange in the first and second digit has a value of 3. So, pagdating sa multiplier, meron siyang tatlong 0. Okay? And the tolerance, which is the gold, has a value of plus minus 5% or positive negative 5%. Okay, the next step, put the first two digits together. The first band and the second band side by side to form a two-digit number. Multiply the two-digit number by the multiplier. So 1 and 0, you have to put them together. That's why here, it becomes 10 and multiply them to 1000 as the multiplier has a value of 1000 so 10 times 1000 the answer is 10000 ohms and plus minus 5% now for a brown black orange gold the value would be 10000 ohms plus minus 5% let's simplify this one we will be using k means kilo and kilo is a prefix for 1000 so let's go to the example number one the colors are brown black black gold and brown has one black is zero black times one yes pagdating sa multiplier ang black ay magiging one not zero kasi kung ito ay zero ang lahat ng may multiply natin sa zero will be zero so, definitely, it's not 0. It should be 1. So, 10 times 1 will be 10, right? While gold has plus minus 5%. So, ayun. Pagsamahin ang dalawang number, 1, 0. 10 times 1 equals 10 ohms. And the plus minus 5%. Putting them together, 
it will become 10 ohms plus minus 5%. Now for a brown, black, black gold, it has a value of 10 ohms plus minus 5%. Another example. So here we have a colors yellow, blue, red, and gold. Yellow has a value of 4. Blue has a value of 6. While red, isn't it? The red has a value of 2 in the first and second color, right? So pagdating sa multiplier, it has two zeros. Therefore, it has a value of times 100. While gold has a value of plus minus 5%. Putting them together, the first and second digit, and multiply them to, to 100, the answer would be 4,600 ohms plus minus 5%. Okay, to simplify these numbers, the answer would be 4.6 kilo ohms plus minus 5%. Alright, let's move on to the next example. Another colors combination. We have blue, gray, gold, and gold. Okay, blue has a value of 6, gray is 8. Gold times 0.1. Okay. Gold in a multiplier has a decimal value of 0.1. While gold in a tolerance has a value of plus minus 5%. Putting them together, multiply them to times 0.1. The answer would be 6.8 ohms plus minus 5%. Now, this is the technique. Kung may makita kayong gold as the multiplier, tatandaan nyo lang na may decimal point siya sa gitna ng first and second digit. Kasi nga, ang kanyang value ay times 0.1. Okay? Yun lang, para mas madali nating maikompute ang value ng resistor na may gold na multiplier. Next one, we have here orange, white, silver, and silver. Orange is a value of 3. White is 9. Silver times 0 0.01. While the other silver, positive, negative, 10% or plus minus 10%. Putting them together, the first and second digit, and multiply them to times 0 0.01. The answer will be 0.39 ohms plus minus 10%. Okay, another thing to remember. If the multiplier is silver, there should be a decimal point before the first digit. Okay, another highlight sa ating lesson. Ito naman ay kabaliktaran. So, yung kanina, andyan yung colors, kinocompute natin yung value. This time, may resistance value, pero kailangan mo ma-identify ang colors. So, ito yung sinasabi kong kabaliktaran. May i-apply natin ito sa sitwasyon na kung saan, you have the value but then, you don't know what would be the colors. So, here, kailangan mo ma-identify ang color combination ng isang resistors at hanapin ito sa mga resistors na meron ka. Para hindi ka nabibili sa tindahan. Paano natin gagawin ito? Una, confirm the value of the resistor that you are going to look for. It is best to write it down on a piece of paper. Especially, there are many of them to look for. Mas sa madaling salita, isulat mo lahat ng mga value na resistor na kailangan mong gamitin sa iyong project or uh, replacement sa mga nasunog na resistors. Or kung meron kang part list, kailangan i-identify mo muna kung anong value meron ito. You have to take note the prefixes na ginagamit usually pagka, pagka titingnan mo yung mga part list kasi they are usually using the kilo and the mega signifying its value as thousand and millions. So you have to also to take note the first two digits of the given value. So in here, as an example, we have 470 ohms plus minus 5%. So the first two digits, 47, will be our first and second color. 4 as the yellow, 7 as the violet. Uh, the remaining 0, so the answer will be brown. The color representing 1 0 is brown because brown is 10. Okay? And gold, the positive negative 5% is gold. So for a 470 ohms plus minus 5%, it has a color combination of yellow, violet, brown, and gold. Easy, right? Okay. Next one. Another example. What if the value you have to look for 
is 4.7 kilo ohms plus minus 5%. So we will expound that one. 4,700 ohms plus minus 5%. So you have the first two digits, 47. 4 for yellow. 7 for violet. And there are two zeros. Since may dalawang zeros, ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ay may kulay na red. Kasi ang red ay may value na 100. Still, positive negative 5% is gold. So for a 4,700 ohms plus minus 5%, the color combination will be yellow, violet, red, and gold. Okay, a difficult one. 6.3 mega ohms plus minus 5% is equal to 6,300,000 ohms plus minus 5%. When we expand the value, we will notice many zeros, right? So, mas madali natin ma-identify ang mga colors nito. Okay, the first color will be 6 is blue, 3 is orange, while 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 5 zeros is green. Why green? Because green in multiplier has a value of 100,000. So, therefore, 100,000 has a 5 zeros. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And green also in our first and second digit has a value of 5. Since there are 5 zeros, then the multiplier will be green. And for the tolerance, it has a color of gold. So for a 6.3 mega ohms plus minus 5%, the color combination is blue, orange, green, and gold. What are the color combination for a resistance value of 6.8 ohms plus minus 10%? Though there is a decimal point in between the first and second digit, these two are considered as our first and second color. Now, 6 is blue, while 8 is gray. And for the multiplier, is gold. Why gold? Because gold has a value of 0 0.1. So when we multiply 6 to 8 times 0 0.1, the answer is 6.8 ohms. When there is decimal point in between the first and second digit, automatic yan ng ating multiplier is gold. And for the plus minus 10%, the color is silver. Example number 5. What are the color combination of a 0.39 ohms plus 10%? 3 goes for orange, while 9 for the white. And here, decimal point is before the first digit. That means our multiplier is silver. Silver has a value of 0 0.01. So when we multiply 39 times 0 0.01, the answer is 0.39 ohms. And the plus minus 10% goes for the color silver. The last highlight of our lesson is to compute the tolerance value. And tolerance means percentage of error in the resistor's resistance. And with that, we could compute how much more or less we can expect the resistor's actual measured resistance to be from its stated resistance. And the percentage of error depends on the color bands na, ref na reflected sa resistor. So, 5% for the gold and 10% for the silver. And the positive-negative symbol, that means the maximum and minimum value of a resistor. So, for the formula, tolerance equals value of resistor times the value of tolerance band, either 5% or 10%. Now, here's the steps in computing tolerance value. The first one, you have to identify the tolerance value of a resistor. If it is 5%, that will be gold. And if it is 10%, that will be silver. After which, you have to compute the tolerance of a resistor's value. Convert first the percentage value into a decimal value because it would be easier to do a mathematical operation using a decimal value. From 5%, convert that one to a decimal value. So that would be 0 0.05 and 10% to, to 0 0.10. So this is the conversion. 5% divided by 100% is equal to 0 0.05. While... 10% divided by 100% is equal to 0.10. Here is the example. Find the tolerance value of a 100 ohms plus minus 5%. Convert first the 5% to convert 5% to 0 0.05. 
Using the formula, the answer would be 100 ohms. That's the value of resistance times the 0 0.05, that value of tolerance band or the decimal value, equals 5 ohms. 5 ohms is the 5% tolerance value of a 10 ohms resistor. So find the tolerance value of a 100 ohms plus minus 10%. Convert 10% to 0.10. Using the formula, the answer would be 100 ohms times 0.10 is equal to 10 ohms. Meaning, 10 ohms is the 10% tolerance value of a 10 ohms resistor. So, after computing the tolerance value, we could now compute the minimum and the maximum value using the tolerance value and the resistor's value. The formula for the maximum value is equal to RV, that would be our resistor value, plus the TV, the tolerance value, while the minimum value, RV, less the TV or the tolerance value. So, example number one. What is the tolerance limit of a 10 ohms plus minus 5%? RV is equal to 10 ohms, while the TV is the 5% of a 10 ohms. That's why 10 times 0 0.05 is equals to 0 0.5. Now, to get the maximum tolerance, RV plus TV, 10 ohms plus 0.5, the answer is 10.5 ohms. Ito yung maximum tolerance ng 10 ohms na may 5%. While the minimum tolerance, RV minus TV, 10 ohms minus 0.5, the answer is 9.5 ohms. And that boundary, we can consider that from 9.5 to 10.5, the resistor is in a good condition. Another example, what is the tolerance limit of a 10 ohms plus minus 10% resistor? So using the formula, the maximum tolerance would be 11 ohms. And for the minimum tolerance, 10 ohms minus 1 is equal to 9 ohms. For a 10 ohms with a tolerance of 10%, we could consider the resistor is in good condition. Another example, what is the tolerance limit of a 470 ohms plus minus 5% resistor? So our RV is 470 ohms. The TV, 470 times 0 0.05 is equal to 23.5 ohms. To get the maximum tolerance, we have to add up the RV plus TV. The answer is 493.5 ohms. While the minimum tolerance, you have to less the TV from RV. The answer is 446.5 ohms. The limit for a 470 ohms with a tolerance of 5% is from 446.5 to 493.5%. Another example again, what is the tolerance limit of a 39,000 ohms or 39k ohms plus minus 5% resistor? The RV is 39,000. Tolerance value is 1,950 ohms. To get the maximum tolerance, add up the RV TV. So the answer is 40,950. To get the minimum tolerance, less the TV from RV. So the answer would be 37,050 ohms. So with a boundary of 37,050 to 40,950, we could consider that a 39k ohms with a tolerance of 5% is in good condition. Hope you have learned so much in today's video lesson and you will keep on watching for more videos to come relating to electronics. See you guys around. Bye!